sometimes I feel this pressure that I should be like more professional on YouTube and have like lights and like make more planned out videos and things because I know that's like kind of how you become successful on YouTube like how you really make a business and do really well and like become a full-time youtuber but it's just so inauthentic for me like it doesn't feel normal it doesn't feel natural it doesn't feel like it would bring me much pleasure or feel really good to do that so I'm gonna continue to keep my videos like raw and real and just know that the people that are meant to find my channel will and that you come here for that anyways and not for the perfection or the really beautiful aesthetically pleasing perfectly crafted videos but you come here for the message and the experience that is one of my youtube videos aloha beautiful people welcome back to my channel today we are doing a tonic talk with autumn it has been a while and here i have my maca cacao little brew and it's so delicious and i also want to show you before we dive in, Mama Kitty, come here Mama Kitty, who loves to hang out with me. Mm. We just spend all our time together when I'm outside. She just comes and cuddles and <laughs> purrs around and eats Athena's old dog treats and it's a great time. There is so much I want to tell you guys. Like, I feel like my life has changed dramatically in the past few weeks. I have not taken this long of a break from YouTube since I started my channel, so thank you for being here. So sorry about that, but I needed the time to like refresh myself, but honestly, I just didn't have time to record and edit, and I didn't feel inspired. I didn't know what I was going to talk about because I was on this really pivotal point. Like, I was like, so much was changing in my life. I had a lot to do this past week. I moved out of my old house on the first. I went to Texas on the 2nd with Athena to take her back, unfortunately. It saddens me to say, but I really believe that it was the best decision. And I came back to Maui on the 6th and came back into my new house and I'm still not unpacked. I still don't have anything set up, which is why I'm outside filming today because I don't know where my YouTube setup is going to be. We're going to have to play around with that a little bit. I live in the jungle now, like actually in the jungle. I live in a different part of the island where it's so vibrant and luscious and green, very kapha, water, like it rains a lot. Everything is growing. I have space for a garden, so stay tuned for that. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with this space yet, but I'm super excited for the opportunity to grow plants, to connect with plants, to like have that experience of actually learning how to garden and how to grow my own food and I'm probably gonna have a really beautiful flower garden because you guys know I love flowers. I definitely plan to do a, a home tour once I'm all finished with my space because I want to make it really cute and really cozy and like a place that's a really good reflection of me and I'm really excited to show you guys I have like ideas and I'm kind of waiting for myself to get like the pieces and get everything set up so it's gonna be so cute I'm actually going today with my sister into town to buy some stuff for my place so I'm excited I also don't have a blender yet the blender I would use previously was my roommate so I'm literally hand shaking my cacao so I'm putting almond butter the cacao the maca the honey in a jar and just like shaking it like in a mason jar and pouring it into my cup which is fine but if you want to donate to my PayPal link to help me buy a blender, the link will be in the description box. I feel like I've said this so many times on my channel, like from the beginning to now, like talking about how much I feel myself changing and how it's a new chapter. And I guess this is just like being in your 20s and it's funny because my YouTube channel doesn't have a super consistent theme. I mean, besides self-love, which I guess, I guess is a really consistent theme in everything I do. Um because I'm so passionate about it and I really see that like window into healing the world and how it starts with self-love especially especially with women and us feeling good about ourselves because if we don't feel good about who we are we can't step into our power and if we're not stepping into our power we cannot raise up everyone else and heal the world so 
not that our like Gaia herself doesn't need healing, but the way we interact with the planet, the way we interact with each other, we need the healing. We need to bring that, and I think it starts with self-love. But besides that, my channel has just changed a lot as I've changed, as I've developed new interests, which I love, and that helps me feel like I'm keeping everything I do authentic. I know you guys have seen me on so many different journeys and entering so many different phases and chapters of my life, so I feel so much gratitude that I get to do this and that you guys are here with me and that you're genuinely interested in my journey, and I hope that it inspires you to do what you want and to like liberate yourself and to share what you feel inspired to share and to go after your own dreams, and I guess that's like the through line of everything I do besides self-love, which self-love is like a piece of this because if you don't love yourself you're not gonna have the confidence to chase your dreams but I want my channel my Instagram my podcast to inspire you to be yourself and to share that with the world and to share your message share your dreams go for your dreams feel like you have the tools and the power to do what it is you want to do in your life for you to liberate yourself from your limiting beliefs or the stories you've been told or the thoughts about how you think you should be or who you are and to really embody fully your truth and your own unique self-expression I know for myself it's a journey and there are definitely times and aspects and things that will take me off track a little bit or make me question myself but I really believe that's like the space in the room for me to dig in deeper and to see like what else I can uncover and resolve so that I can really step into my highest and really do what I'm meant to do on this planet. I think that Earth is a place where we come to experience the contrast, but we have this beautiful gift of discernment and this beautiful gift of intuition where we know, like at the end of the day, we know, we can feel, we can tune into what it is we are meant to do. It's not always easy, and I definitely struggle with this sometimes. Like, I share on my channel what I'm going through most of the time. So when I'm talking about self-love or body positivity, usually it's after I have just questioned my self-worth, questioned my self-love, questioned my body in some way. I have been triggered or whatever. Like, it's me sharing what's come up for me and just, like, reflecting that back to you guys. But I must say, the one thing that I'm really firm on and I take with me into each of my client calls, into all of my circles, my self-love course, everything I do, everything I hold, is this sense of honoring yourself and really appreciating yourself and not being afraid to celebrate your wins and celebrate your successes. I just moved out for the first time into my own space, like I had roommates before, um, and I'm really fucking proud of myself. I quit my cafe job, kind of on a limb, kind of just me trusting my path. And I'm really fucking proud of myself because it wasn't an easy choice, but I chose it anyways because I trust myself and I trust my path and I trust my universe. Some people might call this like naivety. I like to call it being the fool, like in the tarot, if you work with the tarot. The fool represents that blind faith and trust in the universe and in your path, doing something you've never done before because you feel the call even though you don't know how it'll turn out. I love the analogy of like a baby bird about to fly for the first time and it feels this call, this instinct, this intuition to fly but it never has so it doesn't really know like will I be able to fly or not but it does it anyways, it has to. That's the bird's missions, birds fly. And that's the same thing for us, sometimes we don't know why we're doing something or why we're called to something or why our universe is taking us through this or on this journey but we do it anyways because we know ourselves and know it's what we need to do so my invitation for you is to celebrate yourself through each of these phases no matter where you're at when you see yourself grow and sometimes you have to literally pause and be really conscious in this observation of noticing yourself growing noticing what you've accomplished what you've achieved how far you've come and just be kind to yourself and just literally take a moment to acknowledge how far you've come and your growth and what you've done and just let yourself know that you see yourself and that you're proud of yourself a lot of times we will like accomplish something or hit a certain goal and then just straight on move to the next one like right away without taking the time to appreciate and acknowledge what we've just accomplished or what we've manifested or the goal we've just achieved and that's my practice right now so after moving into this house and 
quitting my job and doing all of these things I've wanted to do for so long, I decided that I was really gonna take the time to go home and visit my family and to move into my house and make it something that is special, where I'm acknowledging how far I've come, where I'm seeing what I've accomplished and giving myself a little bit of recognition for what I've done. And this doesn't mean you're conceited or anything like that. It just means that you acknowledge your humanness and you're allowing yourself to prosper and you're allowing yourself to be abundant. We all deserve this. If every single human on the planet treated themselves with that level of love and that level of recognition, we would treat ourselves so much better and treat others so much better, our earth so much better, because we are all just mirroring each other all the time. So I invite you to this practice. I invite you to give Give yourself a little bit of love to acknowledge how far you have come and to be grateful for yourself and your ability to create, to manifest, to allow beautiful things to come into your life. We as humans, as creators, are so much more powerful than we know. Our minds, our thoughts, our vibration, our energy, it attracts. It is powerful. It is magic. This is like if you were to look into witchcraft or wizardry of any kind, besides like the mythical aspects it's all energy based and it's you understanding your energy, understanding how energy connects, understanding how energy works and flows and how you can be the master of that. So be aware of your energy. Be aware of what you are calling in, how you are magnetizing, how you are growing, what you're accomplishing. It's important. You are important. You have such a beautiful purpose on this planet and you are never going to be able to share that and to shine your light unless you begin to acknowledge yourself. And this is the lesson I am learning right now, so cheers to that. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here with me. I really appreciate it. Let me know what kind of content you want to see on the channel in the next few weeks. I'm really looking for your ideas. I want to be inspired by you and what you want to see from me. I will see you again very soon. Thank you.